I wanted to practice going on my pogo stick, but I broke my arm. So I went to the part with my aunt. I felt so bouncy, like a kangaroo. I jumped and I jumped, and I saw beautiful flowers and big green trees. It was so pretty. Who? Who? It's Ollie! Hello, Zoe. Who? Who? Jumping all around, are you? I am, Ollie. I got to see so many beautiful flowers at the park with my aunt. The park is lovely. It's true. I know an even more amazing place for you. Listen to this story. Just follow me through. Who? Who? Follow me through. Oh, hi, friends. Hola. <laughs> I'm Luis, the handyman. Today, I'm watering all the seeds I just planted in my little garden here. <laughs> I'm growing tomatoes right here. And over here, I'm planting strawberries. And then this spot is going to have peppers. Mmm, that is spicy. <laughs> You know, this garden reminds me of our story today. Do you want to help me build it? Great! All right, let's put it on the story fence. Hammers up, little builders. Ready? Uno, dos, tres, hammer! Great job, little helpers. You can put your hammers down. Now we just need our story tools. Yep, we have everything we need. Today's true story from the Bible begins in the very beginning, when God created the most perfect garden. It had big tree, beautiful flowers, and lots of plants. Some of them even had food on them. And there were so many animals. Look at this place. <laughs> I told you it was perfect, and God made it all. But he wasn't done. As beautiful and perfect as the garden was, God knew it needed his most amazing creation. So God made 
people. <laughs> he called the man Adam. Now wave to the kids, Adam. And the woman was called Eve. Now the garden truly was perfect. God gave Adam an important job to do. God told him to name all the animals and take care of them. Let's see if you know the names of these animals. Ready? Uh, what's this guy's name? <laughs> yeah, frog, that's right. <laughs> okay, who is this? <laughs> yes, it's a bunny rabbit. <laughs> okay, now this one is harder. Ready? What's his name? <laughs> yes, he's a kangaroo. Boinky, boinky. <laughs> Great job. So Adam and Eve lived in God's wonderful garden and they knew that God's way is perfect. They could eat fruit from any of the trees except for one. In fact, that was the only rule. God told them to never, ever, ever, ever eat that one fruit. Oh no, what are they doing? Is Eve going to eat the fruit? Everybody say, oh no, ready? Oh no, no, Eve ate the fruit. Wait, now what is she doing? She's handing it to Adam. Everybody say, oh no. Ready? Oh no! No! They both ate the fruit. They disobeyed God. And because they didn't do the things God's way, God had to send them away from his beautiful garden. God still loved Adam and Eve very much. They still had food to eat and animals to take care of, but everything was a lot harder. It would have been so much better if they had followed God's way. Because remember, God's way is perfect. When God wants you to do something, remember, His way is perfect. So jump, jump, and go God's way. Hey there, Holly. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. Yes, it's true. Now let's hear it from you. Tell me, whose way is perfect? God's way is perfect. That's the truth, friends. You better believe it. Adios! <laughs> so there's your story. And it's all true. God made a beautiful garden because His way is perfect. Ho! Ho! Thanks, Ollie. Goodbye to you. Ho! Ho! It's amazing! God made such a beautiful garden, it was perfect! Because God's way is perfect! I think I got the story. Did you get it? If you did, say got it. You get it? Got it! Good! I'm going to jump around outside and go find more beautiful things God made. I'll see you next time. Bye! God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31. God's way is perfect. 2 Samuel 22, 31.